So today I just wanted to give you an idea of Erica's taste in houses versus my taste in houses. And I will let you decide who has the more exquisite tastes in high-end high end home shopping. So Erica likes this house. I think that this is a dollhouse, literally. So she calls it a dollhouse. So here's the for sale picture. Here's the reality. That's 2013, okay? So he's taking the Google Maps image from 2013. You can see it doesn't have a fence. It doesn't have any planters. So what you should be looking is at the listing. So look at the, switch back to the listing. This listing is Photoshopped to shit. No. The, this the is fence all is Photoshopped. Okay. This is Photoshopped ass shit. So click on the picture. Okay. See in the front, it looks so nice and cheery. Okay, move. Is, change the image. Look at that. Look how nice and inviting that is. So you have like a little, what do we call Like a patio, like an enclosed patio of sorts. This Turn rug it. is probably smaller than my foot. Turn it. Look at that. Look how, what would you call it? Shabby chic. That's what you would call it. It looks so cute. And then you have this little, the, the little chair over there and you can put some like bamboo sort of furniture there. If I gain 10 pounds, I won't fit on this couch. And look at the baby blue roof. It's so cheery and happy. It's rotting. Huh? This looks like Eugene I, wood. I think it, they call it shabby chic. It's like rustic. This is Eugene up here. See? And then you got like the pink and white inside. So this kitchen, pretty. Uh, this is the kitchen. It seats. Yeah. All right. Still bigger than my piece of shit kitchen that I have in New York City. It's so calming. It's incredibly calming. <laughs> oh, wait one sec. Look at that. See how nice the out... Um, Look at the, the chair is bigger than the stove, Erica. The chair is. The chair. Look, look, look at the size of the. Look at the width of the chair and look at the width of the stove. Okay, but that has four burners. Your current stove has four burners. Yeah, but my four burners are not two inches in diameter. Huh? No, I I think it's wider than that. I think it's a standard size. Cause look how big the tea kettle is. Look how. This is literally a dollhouse. They're gonna it's troll so you when you cute. show up. Okay. This is a. I love it. And look, even on the top, look at the ceiling area. See, it has that nice little wooden Yeah, the part. rotting shit no, no, over here. No, no, look up, look up. You see that little what, cutout? What, this? Yeah, that little cutout part. Yeah, right before the rotting shit. Yeah. No. Look. And look, even has a dollhouse. You see it? It see is a dollhouse. See it is? It's so cute. I love the curtains. I like that wooden area on top. I think it's a loft. See that? So maybe there's a bed up the there. Chair, I'm not too sure. it, the chair is wider than the door. How did huh? they even fit it in the house? They no. built a house around the furniture in it. It's so cute. I love it. Shithole. It's, it's so sweet. Okay, this part is a little small. But you know what? At least That's it has, your spot. At least That's, it has a standalone washer dryer. Because over here, you know where I'm hooking everything up. Okay? <laughs> you hook up the dryer, the, the washer, the same way I hook up the air conditioner. I, you know what? We don't, have, <laughs> we, don't, we don't have a designated laundry area. So right. this is so much better. This is... And then this one, I like it. it it's this is this floor from 1913. Yeah, but you know what? It's durable. It's durable, right? Durable. And then, and then look at the look at the colors. It's so peaceful. And puke look, green. That's not that's sea foam green. That's puke S -E -A -F -O -A green. S e a f o a m. Sea foam. Sea foam. Sea foam. Throw up. Yeah, it's cute. And then there's okay. I, I admit the the windows a little small. You're gonna have to lose weight to fit in this room, Erica. I you know what? I don't have to lose weight. You would have to lose weight if anything. I love it. It it, it looks like a little tea house. This is a shithole. It's cute. Look at that curtain. I like that pink curtain too. It looks so homely. Oh look, someone they have was a, a ten inch TV screen and the room is still tiny. Look, someone was a ballet dancer or they like dancing. Look how sweet that is. It's very soft. It's very soft looking. It looks like when you wake up. And look at that. You got this little bar, uh, this little wooden shed over there. Here, I'll give you Beautiful this. Plant. The one thing that's good about this place is that unlike the rest of the clusterfuck of New Jersey, the property tax is 1.3%, not 2.3%. Most of Jersey is 2.3%, which means you don't... Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, I thought I saw home and so, home, HOA fee. It's home insurance. No, Never mind. No, no. I, I lost. All right. Let's... Oh, wait, oh, wait. Go look at the last image again. Which last image? Oh, I don't want that one. What's that? That one. That one. Click on it. 
Your point is, see that you can put outdoor furniture. You got a nice little flower or rose bush over there. You got a tree, and you got a barn over there, so you can actually have the cats go outside. I don't. I know Oriole's not gonna be able to scale that fence for the life of him. My apartment it's is bigger so than cute. this. This is dumb. This is a dump. Huh? Okay. But now, also keep in mind, what is the price here? Three hundred forty-nine k. Three hundred forty-seven k. Three hundred forty-seven k. Right. Lewis, where Lewis wants, Lewis's taste. Also, I just want to say, before we get, get in, into the rest of it, fuck whoever has a pending offer on this. Fuck you. Fuck you for stealing my dream home. F you. How dare you. I posted this on live stream three weeks ago, right after I posted there's a pending offer. I know it was one of you fucks. So, look at, the, look at, the, look at this. Yeah, what is it, like one garage, two garage, three garage, four garage? You don't have to decide, do I want the garage attached to my house or do I want the garage separate from my house? Because you get both! Look at this. L look at this, our walkway in here. This looks like a lobbyist lives here. So wait, what is the price of this house? 674 Okay, so it's almost double. Yeah, but you get more than double the space. That house was the size of Oreo's asshole. This is an actual mansion. And where is this located? Newark, Delaware. Delaware. Hey, here's the best part of it. Yeah, the state where you don't get raped in taxes. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that living room. It's gigantic. You have a frig. You you have win you have windows on top of your windows. That's crazy. Uh, how are you gonna clean the windows on top of your windows? Erica. No. <laughs> look at this. You have a fireplace. You, look look at this yard. This is all yard right here. For Oreo to go and play. Here's here's the thing you have to take into consideration. Okay. <laughs> so he is not gonna hire a house cleaner. Yeah. So I'm going to have to wash all these windows, clean this massive place and everything. Every time I give Erica the phone number of my old maid, she says, no, I'm not going to use it. And then says I have to clean. So stubborn, stubborn, stubborn. Okay, here's the thing. You know how much his, his old maid wants to get paid? If you hear the price, you're going to be like, oh, nope, nope, nope. So this is the place. Listen. If I'm going to work until 3 or 4 in the morning, at the very least, I can pay someone to clean my place robust, once a month. Alright, this is... I used to be okay paying a maid to do it just because I would be at work. Like, if, if I was going to be at the old store fixing fucking boards and live streaming on Christmas of 2018, at the very least, someone can clean my home. Anyway, but this is... Look at this. You, you, you have to get the best part. Look at this. The kitchen... The living room, the windows, there's natural light everywhere, not like this shithole, where it's dark, the middle of a fucking sunny day. So depressing. This place, you have light everywhere. I'm sure it wasn't photoshopped. I'm sure the people of Delaware have honest real estate agents there. They can afford to be honest because their taxes are low. Look at this. Look at all this light. You're in the kitchen, you're getting bombarded by light. Everywhere. Look at this. You have a dining room right by your... Look at this yard. It's, it's, it's gorgeous. It's gigantic. I gave a fax machine. I'm gonna take this shit, throw it out the window. That's how you know somebody old lives here. Fax machine. Boom. Nice. But I haven't showed you the best part of this whole place, though. All right, look at look at this basement. Look at this. This is three times the size of the average New York City restaurant. You have a, like a 1,500 square foot bar in your basement. That is a lot of surface area to clean. Eric is up to the challenge. No. <laughs> so, look at this. You have a gym down here. You have Madi help me replace this shit with a real gym. Fuck all these machines and all this shit. I'm gonna get some nice squat rack. Bench press. I like how they have to show you the fixture. Here, let me show you the best part of this, though. Look at this. Wait. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Property tax, 0.7%. Oh. There's less property tax on this house than on your little doll shit. Look at this. 0.7%. You actually own your home. Yeah, but what is closer for you to get to your current store? Delaware or, or my little uh, doll house? In my house, I've already... In my mind, I've already moved on from that current store. We opened a new store in Newark, Delaware. Or Bear, Delaware. New York City is going to be gone in like in the next year or two anyway. How many bedrooms is this one? Six. 
Six bedrooms, three bedrooms. You bathrooms. have one for each girlfriend. No, wait, no. Three bedrooms, six bathrooms. Oreo, Clinton, Blackberry, Erica, ThinkPad user number one that I start dating, ThinkPad number two user that I start dating. Why do you, why does this, why do a lot of these houses have double the bathrooms in the bedrooms? Like, can anyone understand that? Why do you need six oh, bathrooms? Oh, wait, no, it's not, bedrooms? it's three bedrooms, six bathrooms. I thought it was six bed six bedrooms, three bathrooms. That doesn't make sense. Why do you have six bathrooms and three bedrooms? Yeah, why do you have six bathrooms and three bedrooms? That's a lot of people. Unless you're in It's kind of a waste. Yeah, it is. I want to be able to, I mean, I guess if you have that, that basement, they assume that you're going to be having parties over and stuff like that. Someone says, where is the helipad? Well, first thing I have to do is build my own helicopter. Build it? Yeah, I want to get a Cessna 402, actually. Can I get a Cessna? If I, if I refurbish a, a Cessna 402 to be electric, would you ride in it with me? Do you have your license? Do I have my license for the current thing that I ride? That's different. You don't go in the, you don't go in the air. Yeah, exactly. It's safer. There's yeah, less to crash goes, into up what there. What goes up must come down. Robust, robust, Safe. robust. Oh, wait, hold up. Let's go to my dollhouse really yeah, quick. It'll be a mostly peaceful flight. Let's, Let's go back to the dollhouse. Okay, here's your dollhouse. Oh, wait, how many bedrooms and bathrooms was that? Because I didn't you look at it. Oh, well, two bedrooms, one bath. Don't get a Cessna. No one likes Cessna owners. Eh, no one likes me anyway. It's so cozy looking. That's what I like about it. And I feel like something like the little dollhouse, you look at it. And it's so nice. Oh, oh, wait, hold up. One bathroom. Hey, well, actually, you're right. Yeah, one bathroom isn't enough. Because right now, sometimes I have to wait outside of the bathroom. Uh, yeah, it needs two bathrooms. What do you think of this one? What? You know what that looks like? That looks like Reddit upvotes. What, this? Yeah, this? those what do you look mean? like Reddit upvotes. <laughs> this actually does look like an upvote. Yeah, why do you what want to this? live in an upvote house? I'd rather live in an upvote than a downvote. Oh, well, I don't know. If you go on our Apple, you're probably downvote. I'm always downvoted on our <laughs> Apple. This is some nice photoshopping here. Look at this. Look, this versus this. This, that. Sad. Happy. Sad. Happy. Sad. Happy. This is a nice one. This is Pennsylvania. In Clark Summit, Pennsylvania. Look at this weird thing when you walk in the house. I think it's tribal. Looks like a character in Mario. There was this, no, I, I forget what game it was. If it was Mario or something else where there's a mask that flies at you. It was it Crash Bandicoot or... It reminds me of that. I'm trying to think of the game that it came from. Spacious living room. What did I like about this? I forget. I wonder what speakers those are. Are those Paradigm Atoms? They look like Paradigm Titan or Atoms. This place looks gloomy. I'm not a big fan of it. Me. I don't remember what I liked about this. I'm trying to remember what it was that I liked about this, but I can't. It just looks very cold. Oh, one, over 1.3% 1 property tax. Get out of here. That's like right on the threshold of go fuck yourself. Is it this one? I think it was this one I was looking at instead. This one? Yeah, look at the price. It's a lucky number. Amtec Flux. Any house that's $559,000 has... This has a really interesting... It's like you're inside, but you're outside at the same time. I like that. It I like feeling like I'm inside while I'm outside. Kind of reminds me of a sauna. Or feeling outside while inside. Hey, where's that uh, seven hundred thousand dollar house that you and I both liked? Which one? You remember the one that you were complaining about the property tax? Oh, in Omaha. Yeah. I think I exited it already. Uh. I looked at Omaha and then I saw a two percent property tax and gave a middle finger. I thought the whole point of the Midwest is not getting raped in taxes, but. Yeah, we saw this really nice house, that that was bigger than the doll house, but wasn't like the other one. Going on. What's this? Whoa. -ho. Meh. Yeah. Too much. I forgot what it was. What's this? Somebody took it already? I thought this was pretty cool. What do you think of this one? Oh, Look at that nice. entrance. This is like the entrance to a video game. It is nice, yeah. I like it. 
That's nice, yeah. That does look nice. Somebody already took it, though. Figures. Look at this living room. That's sexy. Somebody took it already. Wow, wow. Uh, a funeral parlor. <laughs> yeah, it, it kind of reminds me of a church in c certain angles. I don't accept the concept of a high property tax because if you improve the property and you actually make it nicer with your own two hands while you live there, you get punished for it. And it just seems like a really ridiculous way to run a, run an area. Uh, Mark was Mark was trolling me with this the other day. He's like, "Yeah, you live in New York. Check this out. Look what you get. Look what you can get here. This is like two hundred sixty or two hundred eighty thousand dollars. You get a pool. Look at this. You get central air conditioning. I guess you need that in Florida." Yeah, everything's cheaper in Florida. 267000 Erica. And the property tax on this is like 200 a month or so. Look at this. You got a pool? Mm hmm What do you think of this one? Mm, it's okay. And I could steal Mark from iPad Rehab. What? Shouldn't say that out loud. Shit. <laughs> Kidding, Jessa. Kidding. Jessa's going to look at him and like, what? Jessa's going to deadlift me. Yeah, she, she's probably going to throw you over her shoulder. She gonna deadlift me. I'm trying to find that really nice one that we saw. Yeah, I might as well give you an idea of what you can get in Brooklyn. So check this out. Oh Jesus. One point two billion. Just to, yeah, let's just like compare it to the local real estate, so you get an idea of how much New York sucks. Look at this. This is. What, I mean, don't get me wrong. This is not a. This is not a bad place. It's a decent looking house. It's just one point two million. And here's the fucked up part about this. Are you ready? So after I found this, this was on Zillow for 52 days. Mm -hmm. I think that's including the time of the pending offer. This shit sold within a month or so of it going on the market and already has an offer. Mm -hmm. Like I thought, I remember thinking to myself, you know, okay, with, with coronavirus and everything going on, I'll offer you like 250,000 bucks and maybe they'll say yes. Maybe we'll meet in the middle between like 200K and your 1.2 million. Somebody bought it already. That's the crazy part. Yeah, like if you look in any uh, anything in this area, it's just disgusting. Let's see, Midwood, Brooklyn. What okay. do you? Okay. I I want to check out some areas in the in. Oh, okay, get, get out of here. Here, get this out. was it. Oh, I'll check that out in a sec. I want to show them what you get in New York City. Let's see, where do we get, where do we find Midwood? Midwood. Alright, check this out. You guys ready? See what you get in uh in Brooklyn? So this is what Erica would call would refer to as half a house. Yeah, screw those houses. Alright, check this out. Seven hundred and ninety nine thousand. Oh, I'm getting triggered. <laughs> I'm getting triggered, you guys. Look, it's a it's a, it's, it's an oh. ebb. <laughs> Look. It's like a middle initial for you. See, Eb. It's, so you get, which side is it? The left or the right that you get? So this is $800,000. This, this is around my that's area. Nice. Like this that's is under nice. my area, I suppose. This is nice. Yeah, look, I think that side's your neighbor's and this side's yours. Oh. <laughs> that's your kitchen. Look at how big it is for 800000 And look at that central air conditioning they give you. You get a shitty little window unit. Another shitty little window unit. Another shitty window unit. This isn't too bad. This is eight hundred thousand dollars, Eric. On the inside, it's not too bad. It, well, look at that. Which? Uh, how many bedrooms is it? <laughs> wow, four, four bedrooms, bedrooms. three baths. Wow. Look, they cut the price by a hundred thousand dollars. It's wow. a deal, Erica. They wanted nine hundred thousand before. How much oh. would you offer them? One fifty. Hey, look at uh oh, look at this six hours ago. That one, six ninety nine. Erica, I already clicked on. Eh, one sec. Um, yeah, I want it. Here we go, six ninety nine. Let's see what you. What do you get for six ninety nine? Oh, look at that! Look at that nice fancy front. Look at how new this looks. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of that house with the, sh the with the bathroom right by the front door. Remember that one? It's eleven hundred square feet. Eleven seventy six. That's actually a lucky number. Really? That's a really good. Uh, that's a really good compressor. 
Oh. LA 2A, LA 3A, 1176. Okay. I think the LA 3A, no, the, it's, it's, it's nice. Where are the photos? 4 to 1, 8 to 1, 12, to, uh, it's, it's a nice, it's, it, there's no pictures. Robot, there's no robot, pictures. You, you don't get pictures for 700,000. You buy it on faith. It's so cheap that they think you'll buy it on okay, faith. Okay, okay. Okay, where was the, oh, look at this. 1.2 million. Okay. It's called Gravesend? Gravesend. Asbestos. It looks like some kind of zombie movie. <laughs> it's like the apocalypse kind of thing. 1.4 million. 1.425 million. <laughs> Wait, is it is it mixed residential? What oh, it? it's a social club and it has two bathrooms. So couldn't you have the store on the bottom and live on the top? This is a shit. You hole. could. You could have the store on the bottom no. and <laughs> no. <laughs> on the top. No. No. <laughs> what else do we got in this dump? Oh, look, another one. What do you think of this half a house? Oh, gosh. No. Look, look oh, at Oh, I hate that. Oh, my gosh. Look how small the counter is, you guys. Look at that. Look at that big counter. Look at all the counter like space that. you get. No, look, you get this one, too. I, you have to share it with the living room, though. <laughs> this is almost $700,000. Look at the dining room. $700,000. This is straight out of 1860. And you're not taking the furniture, but it looks small. Oh, gosh, it's the same sink we have. Minus the hole. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you got an exercise machine robots, right next to your robots, bed. Robots. But how do you get to bed, then? Huh? They, hey, they probably, that, they probably thought of you. But you, look, you got your workspace for your mail-in repair business. Okay. $689,000 in beautiful Brooklyn. All right, what was the address of the place you Okay, were? Uh, 1907... North 102nd Street, Omaha. Oh, yeah. The f I was actually looking at spaces in Nebraska just for the hell of it. Oh, look at this one. It's really nice looking. Wait, go from the beginning. Yeah, yeah. check this out. Look at this. First you got of all, a fountain? It looks zen like, right? Okay. You got a fountain? Eh. Uh, and this is why I like it. It has a privacy fence. Yeah, here's the thing I don't think that you need a security system for this house because how do you get in? Like, where's the door? So this is the house, but the it really sticks. makes... What sticks? The two sticks over there. See that orange thing? That's your front door. What orange thing? This? The, there's no, the two sticks in between it. See oh, that this? orange square? Yeah. That's weird. No, that's the entryway. What is this? See, look. See, you have the door right I here. I would never find that. You I would, wouldn't find I would it. Be this is perfect, then. I would be incapable of breaking in. You're okay, this is temple. sexy. Now, th what's that movie with the... There's that robot movie where the where there's an artificial intelligence person, and at the end of the movie, she winds up killing the guy that falls in love with her. I don't remember. I'm trying to remember the name of this movie. Ex Machina. Does this not remind you of Ex Machina? Isn't it kind of like a little bit Ex Machina? This is this is this looks like the hallway where she winds up stabbing that guy that's using the robots as horse. What? Doesn't it look this like is that? Creepy now. It, I know. I like it. What? Yeah, oh, it's pretty cool. I'm just not going to allow robots into my house. But look at this. Come on, tell me this doesn't look like Ex Machina. Looks awful. Oh, you have I, you have no taste. Uh, I love, Look, you have a sunroof over here in the kitchen, or the window, whatever the hell you call the windows and the ceiling thing. <laughs> it looks like an Apple user's home. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, this is nice. Look at this living room. This is, this is sexy. I like that nest chair. See that nesting chair in the corner? I mean, I know it doesn't come with the house, but it's nice. See? And then you got the nice little um, bamboo on the wall of some sorts. That looks nice. I don't know why they put Look at this. over there. Your laundromat area. You have a sunroof in your laundromat. You have a sunroof in your laundromat. That's awesome. It's a laundry area. But here's the problem with this place. Look, we're going to go through it, and it looks beautiful. Look at that. Ooh. Beautiful. I, I hate those tubs, you guys, because once you get water over the edge, it goes straight on the floor. So what? It's a marble tubs. floor. Just leave the water there. You know what? You're It'll evaporate through your sunroof. Your you're gonna slip and break your foot. Who cares what? Who's gonna? You're gonna sue me? Huh? It'll be fine. It looks great. This this is this is a little weird. The pensive. Giraffe. Is that a deer or a giraffe? That's a giraffe. I can't tell. It's a giraffe. How do you know? Huh? I usually tell if it's a giraffe because of the size of the neck. Like. From what? Your experience huh? in the what? Living in, in Hawaii. The, in the Hawaiian wilderness <laughs> where they have giraffes walking by no, every day. No, because it has the two little sticks on top of its head. See that little brown thing? Oh. Yeah, that's what giraffe. I don't even. I didn't know giraffes had sticks on their head. I thought they only had ears. Huh? That's weird. I still say it's a deer, but... Okay, so look. 
it's it's a nice oh, looking place. Oh, that looks nice. You have a pool. That's nice. You have a fountain. But here's the part that disappointed oh. me. It, this is beautiful. This is like this. This is Epcot or Magic Kingdom and Disney World shit without the coronavirus uh -huh. or the three thousand dollar a night. It looks like a temple, hotel. doesn't it? That's amazing. Here's the problem. I love this. So I thought, oh look, we're escaping New York and the and the Northeast. Property taxes are not going to be ridiculous anymore. And then you scroll down and you realize this is how Nebraska can afford politicians that laugh in your face. Two point zero seven percent. That's almost two point one percent property tax. What are you, Jersey? What are you, Long Island? Get the fuck out of here. One thousand two hundred eight dollars a month for property Get the tax. fuck out of here. Listen, I get it. I'm not saying Nebraska's a bad place. I visited. It's beautiful. It's nice. It's lovely. It's just, where do you get off charging 2% property tax? <laughs> no, because in New York City, they could say, in New York City, at least they can tell you, well, you're nearby all of these jobs and all these high-paying jobs, and if you want to be in this concentrated area with all the money, you got to pay the property tax. Uh -huh. But here, they're saying, like, you have to pay a 2.1% property tax to be by cornfields. Like, what the fuck? It makes no sense. You know what the bad thing about those windows is? Is if you walk around, you know, not wearing pants, or if there's someone in the background, they could see you. It means you have to wear pants. Huh? <laughs> But I love that place. It's nice. I, I love that it has a f uh, fence. I love how it just... The layout looks nice and peaceful. It really does. This looks like a Disney World resort. Yeah. Like, this actually looks like a Disney World resort. It's just the problem is the 2% property tax. That's, that's no. Yeah. But, you know, when I saw this, I thought $700,000 sounds affordable when you look at that compared to what you get in Brooklyn, right? Yeah, what you get in Brooklyn is a fucking <laughs> shit shithole. Look at this. Look at these dumps. <laughs> I mean, that's the thing. It's like they're not even trying to it's impress more you. Expensive. It's just this is a hundred years old. It hasn't been renovated since. It everything looks like shit. Okay, this this is not the best example since they actually renovated where's, where's a little bit. Where's your pool? But still, seven hundred. Yeah, where's the pool? You have a pool? No pool. No pool. How much is? It's just old. Comes? It's like all really old shit. And old is okay. It's just who the hell wants old for like a million dollars? And it's not nice old. It's not, you know. <laughs> It's not like White House old or Castle old this or 1600s like Church room. old. It's just old, old. What is the um, what is the property tax for this house, this specific house? Oh, in New York, that's the one thing. In the five boroughs of New York City, the property tax is actually low. That's how you can tell that someone is is too high on the Kool Aid of Fox News when they say the prop Four like the property taxes in New York City are killing you because they're really not. The property point six five percent. This is a this is nothing. This, this is not what kills you. The property prices are what kill you. The property taxes are not. Mm. Like, new. Don't, and like, just sometimes people get wrong the things that suck about New York City. Mm. How much is the dollhouse property tax again? Dollhouse property tax is, I think, 4000 a year. Oh, there it is. It's up here. Yeah. Yeah, this is the only part of Jersey that's not a ripoff. I don't, because New Jersey uh. is a ripoff everywhere else. I thought NYC has more than 2.9%. $379 for the little dollhouse. It's so cute. Oh, look at Ghost Rider's link. Yeah, like, this is... This is the only part of Jersey where it seems like the property tax is not totally destroyed. Destro Here's the reason you can't buy this, though. So Fine. Paul told me that New Jersey has this thing where if you move out, if you sell your house and move someplace outside New Jersey, they tax you on leaving. Okay. So they actually tax you a part of the value of your home as you're leaving. Okay. That's fucking insane. So you, you know can't what that do that. Means? That's not like no, you can't do that. No, you know what that means? I guess you can. I'm just never gonna live in your shitty state. No, you should never sell the dollhouse then. Or just never live in the shitty state. <laughs> like hey. it, but when you do that, you put up such a middle finger to ever wanting to invest in your state. Because I actually was looking at Jersey. I was looking at houses in Jersey. I wanted to move to Jersey. And then I read about that. And now I'm not considering it under any circumstances on principle alone. That's just disgusting. Like you, you can't charge people 2.2% while they're in New Jersey and then take their money when they decide to leave. That's just, no, that, that, that's just disgusting. Yeah, 900 square feet. Yeah, the dollhouse is forever. Yes, I do agree. I love the dollhouse. I was looking at, I like the Cliffside Park. I have some ex-employees that live in this area and they like it. Okay, I can't afford this particular house, obviously. This is way way fucking out of my budget but the oh, i hate that sink but look at this here's the thing if 1500 like 2.08 percent property tax so they're going to take twenty thousand dollars from you a year after you own the house and taking your money when you decide to leave like they just give you the middle finger up the ass on the way in during and out 
And I don't get what they... I really don't understand what makes New Jersey so special that they think that that's right. I think it's New York. I, this is my theory. I think that the only reason that Jersey is able to have the taxes they do is because of proximity to New York. Because it's not like, and people aren't moving to New Jersey for the amazing economic opportunity in New Jersey. They're moving there because they work in New York and they just need a place near New York to work, near New York to live. So they live there. And that's what New Jersey can advertise. Like, we're close to New York. Like, New Jersey is kind of like the, um, the, ug the ugly guy that's standing next to the hot guy. He's like, hey, girl, <laughs> I'm standing next to the guy that you actually want. <laughs> Come get a drink with me. You know. New Jersey is the Seinfeld of states. New Jersey is to New York what Virginia is to D.C. L.A. is pretty... L.A. seems like another version of, of, of the shitty things in New York. Oh, the dollhouse is that. 166 miles away. New Jersey is a New York City suburb, pretty much, yes. Columbus, Ohio houses, says Christy B. Yeah, let's take a look at Columbus, Ohio. Ah, I'm going to take a look at some Columbus, Ohio. Wait, didn't Ghost Rider send us a link? I don't know who that is. Ghost, Rider's link, Ghost Rider link. I don't know who that is. Ghost Rider, send us, resend it. I don't know who that is. Okay. No, fuck you. Not registering. Let's see. What do you have in Columbus, Ohio? Oh, there. Can you click on that? Thank you. What about Staten Island? Hell no. I grew up in Staten Island. No, fuck that. No, no. Okay, this is already... Oh, custom-built home. I spent 17 years in Staten Island. F out of here. You know, Hell I've heard no. some bad things about these newly built homes. They say sometimes these homes are not well-made because they're just built to be quick, and you might end up with, like, a Eugene. So I've heard if you, you shouldn't buy a house that's not that newly impressive. built. All right, let's see. Where's the Columbus, Ohio one? Actually, where's my Columbus, Ohio tab? I have too many tabs open. Ah, oh, here we go. I'm okay. going to close, close all these other tabs I got open. What? All right, what do we got in Ooh, Columbus? 624. How about that one? Stained glass window. This has, a, like, the church-looking window on it. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's nice. Wow, that does look nice. Hey, I like that. Let's click on the images. Yeah, that's, that's sexy. Nice. Ooh, look at those Holy lights. shit, this is, a, nice. this is a castle. Well, it looks like. Look at this. Yeah, it's a castle. Nice. Robust, robust, robust. Look at that door. That's a nice door. The little shitty nest camera over there or something. Ooh. Look at those. Look at that wood. I love that wood. What's that? Oh. That's weird. Huh? Uh, it's supposed to be a tiger pelt. But That's it's weird. actually just a draw. Okay, I like this. Tapestry. You have fireplace, Vandersteen speaker, Vandersteen speaker. I like all the wooden details in there. It's nice. A little cramped. You don't see that anymore. I, li I like the ceiling. This is really cool looking. This is really rustic looking. I like this. It's rustic nice. It's not rustic shithole. Wow. Because the other one that we looked at, that, that, that was rustic shithole. What other one we looked at? Look at that. that. That looks like central air. Is that central air? Do I see central air up here? I think I see central air. Look, you got the stairway to heaven up there. Where's stairway to heaven? Look at that stairway this to heaven. This is a stairway to heaven. This is a stairway <laughs> to murder. The light goes up. It's like the stairway to Look heaven. Look at these right stairs. There. It looks like murder. They're black and shiny. <laughs> black with light shining off of them. No, thank you. Oh, wait, go back. Oh, my God. It's those tubs that I hate. Is oh, it's a tub tubs? is fine. You're just traumatized by those tubs because of you know what with the neighbor. Huh? <laughs> Now, if you splash over those tubs, the water goes out. It's a fine tub. Just get a drain. Oh, no central. Right. That's a heater. Hey, you got a fan. I wonder if those heaters are all over the house. If they are, then I can deal with it. <laughs> all I could think of is those floors creak. Well, not as bad as Eugene's. This is a nice. But th th this is one of those second floors where it's going to be really hot, I think. You got a pool table. I think this is central air. Yeah, 
Yeah, the house I grew up in had central air and central heat out of the same vents. Doesn't look so great. What is that, the back side? Yeah. Doesn't look so great anymore. So you're, you, it's colorful, though. You really are going to judge her on her backside only? Huh? Right. No, because I like having a shower head, you guys. That's why. And then if you have a shower head, look. I notice it splashes all over the place. Yeah, it's nice and nice grass. You're going to have to make that grass look a little nicer. I don't know how to make we. grass look nice. You. <laughs> you. Oh, look at They'll that. They'll do a great job there. All right, let's see. What are the property taxes in Columbus, yeah, Ohio? Because that determines whether we consider this or whether we give them a middle finger. All right, what do we got for property tax? Yeah. Columbus, Ohio, property tax, and... Whoa! Suck my dick. Suck my dick. Yeah, fuck you. Is the rest of Ohio have this shit? Here's some money towards an air fresh. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I don't get this. Like, listen, you make fun of New York all you want. I, I understand why New York sucks. I fully get it. But, like, how do you say New York pro shitty pro... Look at New York and their property taxes and everything because it's run by Democrats. Ugh. And then, like, 2.07%. Get, get out of here. Get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, let's see. Cleveland, Ohio. Let's take a look at Cleveland. Look at that. It looks like a little face. You Wait see one that sec. One? We're, we're, it doesn't matter. We're, we're, we're out of here. No, no. no. Erica, just put, put a blindfold robust, over your robust, eyes. Robust. You don't get to look at any of the 2.07% property tax. One. Which one? That What's one, that? 515. Let's take a look at this. All right. five. So before I look at the pictures or get invested in the place at all. Ooh. Let's see if you're a ripoff or not. Property. T ah, f oh my God! Ah. Two point thirty-eight. Suck a fucking. T okay, I'm afraid you pick terrible locations. I don't pick these. Chat picks these. All right, chat. Next place. Wait, let's look inside. I no, see fuck what that. Looks like. No, no, no. I like the floors. Do you you're like just the floors? looking at pictures of women on Tinder that you can't date because they're taken. It's like it's useless. This is. It's like it's literally like browsing through Tinder at women that are not gonna swipe you. This is just no. I like the seven hundred thousand. Look in this. Uh, Austin, Texas, Florida. Okay, Florida is not specific. That you got to do better than that. Austin, Texas. We'll take a look at Austin, Texas. Delaware, Ohio. All right, let's see. Delaware, Ohio. What do we have in Delaware, Ohio? Are you guys insane with your property tax? What do we have here? Oh, this is a nice little. It says new construction. I don't know if that's built yet. Here's the thing I like about new construction. It actually means people are building there. Because in New York City, there's not really any new construction because you have to be fucking crazy to build here. In addition to all the insane regulations to get anything done, you also, you know, there's all, you have to give away a certain amount of stuff in the building at a lower price. You can't build stuff that... That's nice. It's, it's like, it's a total mess. Robot, so, but robot, here, like, robot. people are actually building shit, which means that the, the, there is the ability to build shit or do business in that area to some extent. All right, what do you have here? Okay. But what if you get attacked by termites? Yeah, 1.8. Never mind. Next. All right, so I'm done with Ohio. Austin, Texas. What do we got in all, good old Austin, Texas? No, I don't. A L rear R E. I never do. Why do the Twitch names never make any sense? I can never read them. I can't pronounce it. You really can't. All right, so what do you got in Austin, Texas? Mm. Meh. Well, well. Well, well. Where'd you get that noise from, Erica? Huh? Where'd you get that strange noise from? Yeah. Well, well. Ooh, how about 329? Dove Hill. That sounds cute. Well, it's hey, before cute. I even look at the inside, I'm just going to scroll down here and see if they're ripping me off. Oh, wait, there's homeowners. There's homeowners. I saw homeowners. Uh -oh. No, no, you saw home insurance. There's no oh, itch. Oh, yeah. No, but 1.98%. Eh, screw that. California has low property taxes. Yeah, but California's bad everything else. No. I'm not doing business in California. That's like choosing between putting my dick in a vice and shooting myself in the dick. It's like, it's the same thing. Hey. Texas has no income tax. Yeah, but neither does Florida, I believe. Hey, so Chad said, you know what, they have low, low property robust, tax? Robust, robust. Hawaii. Yeah, but Hawaii's prices are Joseph. crazy. Uh, let's look at Hawaii. Let's look at Honolulu, Hawaii, my hometown. 
your hometown is so much is so ridiculously overpriced. Let's take like my hometown. If, if I wanted to deal with there. you, you can get a low to you can get no income tax in Florida while simultaneously having low property tax. You don't have to go to Austin and oh, get look at that. That's that's ripped off in property tax to get no income tax. You know what I'm live. saying? All right. Okay. Let's look. Look. Let's look. Look at the Hawaii homes. All right. Let's look at coconuts home. Oh, uh, what the what the what. what? What is this? This oh, is like how about this one? Eight thirty-five. Eight thirty-five. Eight thirty-five. Oh wait, that's a townhome. What's wrong with a townhome? Oh, nothing. Robust, robust, robust. Unit five hundred six. Yeah. Wait, so this is this is that's a unit. It's a townhome. It's yeah. eight hundred thousand dollars for uh, a fucking unit. Yeah, close it. Do I need to say any more? Eight hundred thirty-five thousand dollars for a part of a house. Okay. Around there was a house that had around fifty thousand spiders in it. it says XYPR. <laughs> Where? Uh, what is? Yeah, wait, take out the apartments. Erica, this is this is insane. They're cheating. That's the thing. Look, I already took out the apartment. See this? You yeah. No, Hawaii. You, you have townhomes checked on. Oh. Yeah. See. Maybe the people in Hawaii are cheating. They're... There you go. There you go. All right. So what is this? Look, look, number thirteen B. They're still cheating. No, it isn't. You can't trust these Hawaii real estate agents. No. Look, they're cheating. No. That robots, isn't cheating. Robots, robots. It's number thirteen B. Sure, That's an apartment. No, it isn't. Oh, it might be bet. next to want... something else. Ready? No, see, that's an apartment. But you got no backyard. This is $850,000, Erica? Yeah. This? Now, see, now you know where my decorating style comes this? from. <laughs> Are you kidding me? This is New, this is New York level of ripoff. Huh? What the hell makes... Explain, explain what makes this $850,000, Erica. Location. But look, you got a nice ceiling. Well, well, what location? Huh? Wait, look, you can go outside and get some fresh air. Where is the economic opportunity there to make it worth eight hundred fifty thousand okay, dollars for okay, a house? Okay, okay, let's look at another. You have house. to already be rich to move there. Like at least with New York City, it's a ripoff. But at least there was at one point in time the opportunity to make money. What? Let's see. Go then. Let's see more homes. Wait. Move see, I gotta turn the AC on. It's hot as hell. The AC's already off. No, it's not. Eric controls me by turning the air conditioner off. Okay. There, it's at 68. All right, what's next? Colorado Springs, Colorado, Wait, someone says. Let's see another Hoy house. Why don't... Uh, they have... They have... Mm, what else we got here? This is all disgusting. No. What, what, what is this? Oh. Do you know how many more MacBooks I have to fix to be able to live robust, here? Robust, robust. Oh, how about that one? Second Avenue. That's uh, Kaimu Key. Check click on six uh, six fifty nine. I have to fix like nine thousand MacBooks. Click that one. Yeah. With no overhead. Click this one. one. Yeah. That's uh, oh shit! It's only six hundred six feet. <laughs> six hundred six. It's smaller than the dog. Oh look! It's a price cut. Only six hundred fifty nine thousand hey, dollars. Key is a nice place to live. I mean, oh my cute. god! The bathroom in the house in Bear, Delaware, is bigger uh, than this piece of shit. I didn't realize this. Oh wait, try look at all the images. Let's see how long. Six hundred. <laughs> you pay so much for the house with the added bonus of being smothered in lava no, or yeah. destroyed no, by a volcano. No, that's not Honolulu. <laughs> no, no, that's not Honolulu. Uh, we have an funny. inactive volcano. Yeah, sure you do. We do. Oh, it's inactive. Yeah. yeah fuck that. It's dormant. It's been dormant for yeah. like thousands of years I or bet, something like that. I bet that. the realtors in Pompeii said the same oh, shit. <laughs> Ever. You know the realtors no, in Pompeii the said homes, the same the shit. Diamond Head are super expensive. It All is. right, uh, the Colorado Springs. Oh, wait, I want to see the. I want to see how big the 600 square feet one is. Let's look through all the images. Erica. That's pretty big. Looking for a 600 something square feet. Go. Sure, that's only 600 something square feet. Oh, is that it? Okay. Oh wait, that might have been the back door that I saw. She really thinks that things that are really small are really big. <laughs> No wonder we get along so well in this relationship. Uh, oh, look at that. You got some tropical... Man, those plants look unnaturally green. This is junk. Yeah. Erica, this is a fucking Lego house. This is, is like a piece of Lego. Okay, that, that is very small. This is, is a piece small. of Lego right here. Yeah, it is. This is a... No, seriously, this is like, fuck that. Colorado Springs. You guys better not be trolling me with areas with 2% property tax. Yeah, it's a concrete backyard. If I see... Anytime I see 2% or above property tax, I'm banning you. Moderators, get to work here. Anybody linking over 2% property tax, get them out of here. Get them out of here. All right. Oh, it's so cold. 
Vancouver, Washington, home, 1.16%. Okay, we will check out Vancouver, Washington in a moment. Washington is really, really far away. It's a, it's a hard... Buff- Eric is trying to turn down my air conditioner. I'm going to have to confiscate her. Here's the thing that Erica doesn't understand, though. She can adjust the air conditioner all that she wants. But what I can do to Erica is I have the remote, so I can undo what she does. So if she wants to turn the air conditioner up, I can turn it right back down. Yeah, yeah, you want it to feel like Hawaii in here. And you want it to be as expensive as Hawaii, too, if you had your way. If you had your way, we'd be moving someplace as hot and expensive as Hawaii. Yeah, I want to, I want to move to a dollhouse. Yeah, 340-something A thousand. nice cold dollhouse. Okay, this is a lot of houses here. I put uh, a 300K as the minimum just so that I could get rid of all the things that were like dumps. So just since someone asked. So I put the price range I starting at 300K because I noticed when I did that, it would kind of rule out all the houses where it's, you know, like there's a giant hole going to the basement or like the roof is fucked up and all that stuff. I realize that there are houses that don't have that, but I'm just solely looking around for lulls, so it's not that serious. But yeah, that's why I did that. Boston is crazy expensive. Yes, it is. Yes, Massachusetts is insanely expensive. Ooh, try to check out... Oh, never mind. I spent a lot of time in Cambridge and oh my God. I, I shouldn't even be complaining about New York being expensive. Cambridge. Johnson City, Alaska. Tennessee. <laughs> My best friend grew up in Johnson City, Tennessee. He still has a Johnson City, I, Tennessee area code I when he calls. Don't live in Alaska. It's too cold. What's wrong? Okay, I don't know why every home in Colorado Springs looks incredibly boring. I can't find one to click on because they all look boring. Yeah, they do look boring. They re- I don't know what it is about them that makes them look boring, but they all do. But let's see. I shouldn't be judging the house by the exterior. I should be judging it by its property tax. So let's scroll before I look at it. Doesn't make sense. What? Whoa. Whoa! Whoa! Point five! Okay. Okay. Here, bookmarking this. What? I'm bookmarking this. Robots, Where's the robots, newer robots. Um, places to grab food? Who cares? Who cares? You could hire an in-house chef with the money you save on property taxes here. You might be pushing it here. <laughs> uh, 0.5% property tax. You actually own your home here. Wait a second. Look, 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 you have a mountain in your backyard, Erica. What do you think of that? Nice. We could, you could go up the mountain together. Well, they better be able to have your vegetarian or vegan patty thing somewhere. We'll grow them over there. Grow them? Yeah, we put a little seed for, for it over here. No, vegeta- no, your vegetarian stuff is not. It's refrigerated. I ain't gonna be able to grow that. I'll grow it. Good luck trying to grow something. Look at this. Colorado. This looks like where Cartman is from. What? Cartman. The character from South Park. Okay, I'll say. These houses don't have a lot of character to them, but they are... Honestly, the exterior doesn't have character to it either. Nothing here really has any sense of character to it. But it's cheap. I don't like carpet. There's nothing about this whole place that looks that like really grabs me. You know, I used to be a big fan of ca- carpet until for half a million three cats. I don't know. You gotta g- give me something more to work with for half a million dollars. Ooh, someone robot, linked robot, Seattle. Robot. Wa- what? Seattle? Get the fuck out of here! I'm not moving to Seattle. You nuts? It's like New York Junior. New York Junior. Everything's expensive as shit. Okay, the property tax is cheap, but still, it's Seattle. I don't want to live in Seattle. Traffic, population density, chop jazz. Nope. Oh, that's kind of cool. Look at that one, the 375. Nope, Seattle. New York version 2. That's like this. I was going to say. It's like New York sequel. That's like New York the sequel. Uh, Leewood, Kansas. Oh, you should tell them where I was looking at. Remember? Chocolate. I was looking at Hershey, Pennsylvania, you guys. They have a West Chocolate Road or something like that. Mm-hmm. 
Whoa, look at that bird. That bird looks like Odie Clinton. Mm. You think Odie would get scared like of that? a pheasant of some sort. That bird would fly away with Oreo. What? Seattle has Taco Bell. Yet another reason not to move there. I think all states have Taco Bell. Ah, that's unfortunate. Yeah, nothing about this strikes me as $800,000. Yeah. Robots, robots, robots. Nothing. nothing there really strikes me. I don't know. I still got a hard on for this place. What? I got to get rid of this Double person's level. offer. We gotta get rid of this person's offer and then get them to accept my offer of 250k. They're not gonna accept your offer of 250k. They will you know give it time. You know you can offer 250k to the dollhouse. Lancaster, huh? Pennsylvania. Huh? You know, I went to Lancaster, Pennsylvania about two or three times as a kid. I stayed at the Ramada Inn Hotel right across the street from Dutch Wonderland, and I really wanted to go back to Dutch Wonderland as an adult. And then I googled it and I realized it's a children's theme park. It sucks. You really can't go back to. The... Eh. Yeah, there's nothing in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. I think you have to build your own house in, in there. You gotta build your own house there, probably. Yeah. Pay the Amish. Just tell them, don't tell them that you use electricity. They, they, they definitely wouldn't like me. What? Work with electricity all day. Yeah. yeah Alpharetta, Georgia is called the tech card of the South. Tons of people in the area with high income and Apple products. Ooh. All right, Alpharetta, Georgia. Let's see. Here, here we go. Alpharetta, Georgia. I'm on my way. Uh... Okay, do we have a copy and paste in this uh, OBS? Yes, we do. Bada bing. Search. The oh! Uh, the Maxwell. No, the, 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 the name. It's too high end. It's going to be tiny and shitty on the inside. Oh, look at the 675. That looks kind of cute. That's old. I like this thing. Let's see. What do we got here? I like the 429. We'll take a look at all of them. Coming soon. Ugh. Better to come soon than prematurely. What do we have here? <laughs> August Only 20th. Only you guys could capture my look. Yeah. Let's see. What do we have here? I know. This place looks haunted. 1% property tax. All right. I can fuck with that. I've never been to Georgia, though. Ooh, McQueenie, Texas. Ooh, that sounds cute. I've never been to Georgia. Oh, this is nice. Ish. Inside looks better than the outside. I don't know how I'm gonna get along in Georgia though. Why? Georgia sound it, it just sounds like the place where people are gonna like pull me over on my electric bike and fuck with me just for the hell of it. Yeah. Oh, I hate those things. There. They will. <laughs> yeah, something like I I don't I just nah. Eh. I know someone who lives in Georgia, and I have not heard the the best about stuff like that. Nah, I don't know. It's a, it's a percentage, though, Brian. And what I want to figure out is is the percentage ridiculous? If your percentage is under one percent, maybe. If it's over two percent, GTFO. Wait, Georgia. What was this problem? 3209 Ridgewood Drive, El Dorado. Dude, that's California. You nuts? I'm not doing business in California. Wait, let's look at this. Let's look you at out this. of your goddamn mind? Okay, it's kind of pretty. Mm. Property tax rate is 0.8%. All all right. So you own the home. You're not a renter from the city. Let's see. Yeah, it's a okay. nice outside. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. This kind of I went to I visited Guatai Mountain and I climbed that once and this looks like the houses in that area. I kind of like Guatai Mountain. Oh, that's nice. Portland. Are you kidding? Okay, let's click on Portland, that. Oregon. Click oh, on you're that. just trolling at this point. I'm not moving to Portland. That does look nice. Oh, I love those big windows. You have all the places to move to instead of away in the United States right now. Portland's at the top of my list to move to at over half a million dollars. Really? Get, no. You get, Eric, it's pretty. Sarcasm. Oh, wait, it only has one bathroom, no. though. Eric, no, no Portland. 
Yeah, definitely the bathroom that's going to keep us from moving there, Erica. The bathroom is what made my decision for me. I mean, it's not 300-something thousand. I definitely would have moved to Portland. This is the perfect time to move to Portland, Oregon. It's the bathroom oh, that I'm going to not Maine. move there. Oh, Portland, Maine. Oh, Portland, Maine. Oh, Maine is so nice. People in Maine are so friendly. Somebody said Detroit. Ah, fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's... Doesn't Tim live in California? Yeah, my friend, like, she drives to work at over 60 miles an hour, and it takes her an hour and 20 minutes to get to work. Ooh, no, no, she lives no. around Guatai. I'm pronouncing it wrong. Guatai? Guatai? Juatai? I don't know how you say it. Mm. It's a mountain. It's a really nice mountain. It's just to get to civilization takes you an hour and a half. You got to drive 110, not 60. Oh, funny story. So I have a friend that immigrated here from Albania, and he was in Alabama. And it was, I forget what section of Alabama he was in. I was in Alabama or Arkansas. And he's going down the road at like 120 miles an hour. And, he's, and he gets stopped. And the officer asks him, you know, like, you realize you're going 120? He's like, oh, officer, yes, uh, the math, I do, I do 120. And he goes, what? And he goes, Yes, on left side of street it says 60 miles per hour. On the right side of street it says 60 miles per hour. In my country we add them. And the officer actually fucking believed him and let him go. Hysterical. Absolutely hysterical. I actually have to talk to him. I haven't talked to him in a long time and I kind of miss talking to him. He's a good... But that, that, that shit always cracks me up. He t the way he tells the story with the accent and everything and that he fucking got away with it. In my country, we end them up. <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous. Uh. All right. I'm out of here. I'll see you all later. I, uh, but in all seriousness, even if you don't wind up uh, going through most of my videos, I would highly appreciate if you watched the last video that I did on Nebraska. And, you know, let them know that, this, that that's not something that you're okay with, that it's something that, that you're not cool with. It, it really does suck to see the way the Nebraska Farm Bureau has become corrupted in that way, and it makes me very sad. They voted 176 to 1 in favor of right to repair, and, you know, nine months later, they're slow walking this ridiculous, pathetic compromise through that really accomplishes nothing for them. It's really lame, and it, it just, it sucks, you know, the idea that people like Tom Osborne are able to still have seemingly that type of influence See you all later.